welcome back so today's video we are going to create an s3 bucket so if you not if you're not familiar with the what is s3 bucket uh, that is uh, object storage so there are two kind of storage in uh, amazon web services one is the object level and the other one is the block now the difference between object and block is that block is going to be your uh, active storage where you are uh, constantly editing a file or portion of that file so rather than uh, it re replacing the whole file or making changes in the whole file it will just uh, add it out that portion of that file so it will be the block of that portion of that file in the object file it's uh, you are changing replacing editing deleting modifying the whole file for example your mass storage will be your block level and your database or your active uh, operating system installation directory will be your uh, block level and sorry uh, as uh, where you store your file will be your object level so the i found this article on aws it's a uh, really cool it has all the options so from here uh, the one two three four there are seven uh, s3 uh, kind of uh, the uh, like uh, that they are offering uh, the version of s3 s3 is their uh, uh, this uh, object storage it's called s3 the it stand for simple storage solution i believe oh, let's see if amazon s3 Um, yeah it's so that's why it's called s3 there are three s's the standard is the most uh, used one everybody uses the standard uh, or you would uh, the intelligence steering we will get to it in just one second first let me tell you what's the, between the standard one ia and standard one zone so if, if you're familiar with AWS everything gets replicated around multiple zone for data uh, like to prevent any data loss in case of uh, you know any natural or man-made disaster so they want to make sure that they, they never lose that data and it get replicated so f the standard IA it's infrequent access meaning that you do care about that data but you don't access it uh, that frequently and then s3 is one zone ia is it's still infrequent access but it's limited or being stored in one zone it's not in multiple zones so there could be some latency so now we come to intelligence steering this is the one that based on your usage or based on how frequently you access your data it will put your data in into these three zones and so you there is a very good chance that you will be actually uh, paying less for your data that you are storing with s3 now glacier and glacier deep archive that is for where you don't access your data for extended period of time but there will be a cache that we can go down and check the, on, on this I, I would highly recommend if you're really into it reading this whole page uh, even though some <clears throat> you will not uh, uh, maybe not understanding most of it like these nines or what they, they sound about the same for everything but this is the chart <clears throat> that I want to show you the glacier and the glacier deep archive if you go here and you can see so s3 standard it does not uh, uh, like you accessing it all the time and for infrequent uh, sorry infrequent accesses here you can forget your data for like 30 days so that an intelligence steering will be actually moving it around these three now if you see glacier glacier deep archive this is the data that you don't uh, access uh, for large portion of the year uh, from a quarter to about half a year now what happens look here you are accessing this data in milliseconds so even it's in one zone or 
it's in standard in frequent access uh, intelligence steering or you whoever put it over there even if you try but you just want to access it you will be accessing it in millisecond but in terms of glacier and glacier deep archive look at it you are going to be you will be accessing data data that could mean that within minutes to hours meaning that uh, by the time that you want to or put a request to access this data this data may not be available for some minutes to some hours and for this uh, glacier deep archive i'm pretty sure uh, i read that uh, it can take 12 hours meaning if you put a request uh, uh, 12 o'clock at noon to access the data that you put in deep archive in glacier you will not be able to access that data at until 12 midnight so that's uh, the pretty interesting uh, thing uh, but then uh, it's it's gonna cost you the cheapest now comes to the outpost so outpost is the latest um, in Amazon s3 offering this is basically that you will have on-premises uh, storage that will act as an S3 output and you can uh, put or delete data from it and it will actually sync up with the uh, cloud. You can see that data sync right there. So th these are uh, the thing that you need to uh, just uh, know a little bit for your exam and when you're going production you will make your solutions or propositions based on this knowledge i'm gonna wrap this video here let's call it just uh, an introduction and we will create an s3 bucket in the next video so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one